we are in the last month of 2019 which means the game awards which is happening this week on 13th of december which game do you think could be the game of the year Battlefield 5 is bringing more new updates to bring back players to the game and this time they're bringing back a map which is first used in Battlefield 1942 and last used in Battlefield 3. Wake Island. Now I have played this map in Battlefield 3 but this game mapping is so high that I just died. Now this map is twice as size of the old map and DICE says that they have made sure that this doesn't turn out to be only sniper battle mode. So even though the map is bigger, there are enough spots where you can take cover from snipers and then sneak behind enemy lines to smack them off. Nice. Amphibious tanks and boats will also spawn on beaches, giving you another way to get around the island. This update will be coming in December 12th and actually it's good that the old Battlefield purana maps are hai to bring back the players. Who is playing here Battlefield 5 now? I haven't touched a Battlefield game in a long, long time. But that's not the only thing that is coming to Battlefield 5 because on December 9th, players will be able to create their private match, which means you will be able to decide on which maps everyone should play in this server. But abhi bhi a private server's work in progress hai. Iska matab next year aur bhi development aane wala hai in servers mein. Kyunki abhi filal ke liye tum log khali map chun sakte ho. Kaun sa weapon ya kaun sa class is particular server mein use hoga, wo abhi tak tum log decide nahi kar sakte. This small addition to the game could be a great thing for Battlefield. But abhi ek aur important cheez hai jo Battlefield 5 players ko bilkul achha nahi lag raha hai. That is the time to kill. They have increased the time to kill which means you need more bullets to kill people. Yeah, Call of Duty mein you need so less bullet to kill people or Battlefield mein you need a lot more bullets to kill people. I mean, I don't understand why can't games balance kar sakte is time to kill ratio ko. They have completely kind of overhauled the weapon system. They have changed the way the weapons now work and one of those reason is the time to kill which means you need more time to kill an enemy and not only that you can actually see the enemy indicators when they are close to you. So even if you're dropping down smoke, you can literally see who is in front of you, which is amazing Battlefield. <laughs> now right now DICE is trying to make sure that Battlefield is more easier for new players to come, which is good but I think a lot of people do not like this update. Now of course DICE should listen to all these feedbacks or inko improve karna chahiye taki ye game jo ki abhi positive ratings mil raha hai after the release of new updates should not go back down again. A Plague Tale Innocence which was released earlier this year and is so successful and also emotional at times and has so many terrifying rats. Papre, itne sari chuho ko dehne se to kisi ko bhi dalak jayega yaar. Now it's been rumored ki is game ka ek sequel bhi aane wala hai. This info comes from French website Xbox Squad which claims that ye game 2022 mein release ho jayega with an official reveal next year. A Plague Tales publisher Focus Interactive did not confirm or deny the rumor explaining that both it and Asobo are very proud on the response that they got for the game and this game is nominated bhi hua hai best narrative in the game awards. And for that reason these guys are very delighted to see that it has also been nominated and that they told that they partnered with Asobo for future project which doesn't confirm that it's a sequel to the game of Plague Tale Innocence. And soon they will tell you that the project of Asobo is actually what is it? But I think that this new project is going to be a sequel to the sequel. Even though the game does not really need a sequel because it literally didn't end it that way. But to be honest, it will be really cool to see how they progress the story if they are making a sequel. I played this game khelai and I'm so happy that I played this game and I was very excited the moment a trailer was dropped for the game. In the end, the narrative was a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit but it's okay because the characters in the game are the best thing about the game. And the relationships hai between the two siblings are the most strong hai which makes the game amazing. The only other issue that they could improve on was optimization. So if they are going to make a sequel, they have to make sure that optimization is good enough. Outlast is getting a new game. But it's not Outlast 3 guys, it's it's a different different game, yeah. 
This new game of Outlast is not going to be a sequel to Outlast 2, rather it's going to be a complete different game in the same universe. Outlast Trials is a 4 player co-op mode which is set somewhat during the Cold War. You play as a test subject in this mystery cold war experiment jahan pe aap akele ja sakte ho ya fir aap team up kar sakte ho teen aur test subjects ke saath and see where the game takes you not much has been revealed exactly what this game will be like but according to the art it seems like all the characters will have a night vision which is an upgrade from the camera night vision kyunki wo bada ajeeb lagta tha jahan pe you as a player is constantly holding a camera in front of his eyes <laughs> But still, what are you going to do? No idea. Nahi hai. Because the co-founder of Red Barrel Studio ye bolte hai ki the team is right now in development mode. Which means, kuch kaha nahi ja sakta kya exactly ye game mein aane wala hai. This means that this game will be a lot of time in this game. Even though a lot of people consider Outlast to be a great scary game and there are some people who do not consider the same because it relies too much on jump scare, I would say Outlast 2 is one of the worst horror games of all time. Then again, that's my opinion. Because I believe Five Nights at Freddy's is much better than Outlast 2 in terms of horror. Even though you will get jump scared in the first initial phases, but it's still fun to play to complete the game, unlike Outlast 2 where you have meaningless chases. But if those people can improve on these things and see the positives that Outlast 2 has and improve on the negatives, then definitely Outlast Trials will be a must horror game. Besides this game, there is another co-op game bhi aane wala hai, that is Resident Evil Resistance. And now, there are a lot of dislikes for this game mila hai, according to the YouTube trailers and the gameplays. So I don't know how Resident Evil Resistance will work and maybe Outlast Trial could be the co-op game that a horror fan needs. Which means you can bet that I will be playing this game. Daisy, the game that remained in early access forever. Oh wait, they have a version 1. Yeah, they have a version 1. Now this game has a new DLC release. Hua. It is a paid DLC but it's called Daisy Livonia. And this DLC costs less than that of its base game which is only about $14 which is 849 rupees. But in order to play this DLC you still need the base game of Daisy which is a whooping 2.9k which is way too pricey. Now so far this DLC has been getting good reviews by the amount of people who have played the game which is not so much but still it's good. This DLC has a smaller map which means you will encounter more players quickly but sirf zombies ya logo se hi aapko dhanna nahi hai. Yuki there is now bears in the game. Yes finally they decided that wild animals should be added. Now this map has a lush green landscape, dense forest, overgrown fields, lakes and bears. Now I don't know how this map is going to play because to be honest, unless they drop the price of the base game, I am not going to check out the game. <laughs> but such me bolu Daisy is a very fun game hai because the moment it came out, it was one of those games that I jumped in and I randomly met people and we had so much fun raiding other teams and trying not to get killed by zombies. Because in this game, you don't know what you're going to meet or whether they're friendly or not. But the game always had an issue of zombie spawn. That is, the zombies will spawn right in front of you from out of nowhere. Which was not at all right. There was a lot of lags, mesh loading issues and I just hope that all those are fixed. Even though some people are saying that those things are slowly being fixed, but it's still not completely fixed. Maybe I will try to try this game and see how much it has improved once there is another steam sale. This game emerged from Arma 2 which was back then just a mod over Arma 2 which then became a standalone game but now they have to add serious changes to make this game different and fun. Now here is one new game which is being told as a mixture of Firewatch and Gone Home which are two amazing indie games. And this new game is a thriller horror called The Suicide of Rachel Foster which in itself sounds very mysterious is coming out next year and its trailer it really hooks me up being a horror fan meko bahut mane is game ko khelne ka and games like these require amazing voice acting similar to that of firewatch and i hope ki waisa hi ho is game mein so that it can drive the narrative of the game this game is set in desolate mountain hotel in early 1990s and you have been trapped here because of a blizzard matlab aap yahan se bahar nahi ja sakte but you are being guided in one way by this disembodied voice of a distance FEMA agent. So now you have to explore this voice ke help se is hotel and explore karna hoga aur is hotel mein ek dark family history. Bhi hai. I need to figure out what's going on here. 
Now easily watching this trailer it reminds me of a game called What Remains of Edith Finch. That game was an interactive adventure of Edith Finch's family and it was super interesting and this game seems the same. Now this game's publisher has said that The Suicide of Rachel Foster is a thriller about love and deception but bits of mystery and horror are here and there added. So this is not a full horror game. So those who are scared of the horror games, they can also play this game. The story is also very intriguing, touching and mature which is always good. As I said, the trailer was very good and I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, this game is a thriller and it's also interesting so that everybody loves it. The game is out for sale in Steam and is very cheap as it sells only for 374 and is coming out next year on February 19th. Looks like this game is going to be added to my list. Well that was it for this episode of Top 5 Gaming News. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments below how you feel this episode and where can I improve this episode and much more. Give us a like and subscribe to Gamer Connect for more awesome content. Gamer Connect Jenna is the final event of Gamer Connect in 2019 which is happening this weekend on Saturday. So book your tickets right now for free in GamerConnect.in. Join Gamer Connect community on Facebook to take part in various activities every single week and also join Gamer Connect Discord so that you can post your creations for the next GCS video. Check out my YouTube channel as well where I stream games like Call of Duty or Apex Legends from Monday to Friday and you guys can play with me as well. This was me Given Madness and those were gaming news of this week.